Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this tutorial I'm going to say something which you all desired for a long time. There's animal kingdom classification till phylum level with the help of mnemonics. How you should remember. We need to remember this for a lot of reasons but you know it's really complex and how exactly you know their properties. So in this video within 5 minutes I will not only tell you the classification of animal kingdom but also tell you how to remember the properties with that same mnemonic. So hope you're ready. So let's begin with the sentence that we form here that is uh, something weird though I don't know whether it's offensive but it's it's easy to remember thinking of uh, the Prince Charles and his son and we're thinking of the Prince Charles obsession with playing music and a weird obsession of eating cucumber <laughs> that's what all you need to know prince charles an obsession with playing music and eating cucumbers assuming that prince charles like cucumber so let's begin with the sentence that is prince charles the third plays needless music and always eats hot cucumber <laughs> that is kind of uh, you know very weird uh, to remember but that's all 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 okay because we want weird stuff so that we can remember them fast prince charles the third plays needless music and always eats hot cucumbers. So let's begin with it. Again, this is what we need to establish. We need to remember this particular picture because this picture explains not only the classification of animal kingdom, but it explains the body symmetry, the level of organization, the properties of all those phylums. So let's talk about that one at a time. But the first thing is that how to arrange them. We go with the P. P stands for the first one, Porifera. We are talking about the phylum guys here. Charles starts with C C for Nidaria. Remember C Nidaria. Then T, the third one, Tinophora. Although Tinophora also begins with C, but we put it as a T to understand. Then P, Platyhelminths here. Then N, Nimat Helminths or Ask Helminths, whatever you say. M is Mollusks. A, Annelids or Annelida. Another A, Arthropoda. E Echinodermata, H, Hemichordata, and C, Chordata. Okay, so that's it. Porifera, Nidaria, Tinophora, Platyhelminths, Nemathelminths, Mollusks, Annelids, Arthropods, Echinoderms, Hemichordates, and Chordates. These are all phylum for that that we all have in the animal kingdom. Now the question is how to remember their properties because you know some of them have coelom some of them pseudo coelom some of them radial symmetry some of them bilateral symmetry how exactly remember and that is the second sentence that that will be very much helpful for you and that sentence is check the royal behavior with or without common sense right so it's about it's all about the behavior of the prince charles playing needless music and eating cucumbers we're talking about that behavior check the royal behavior with or without common sense and again highlighted letters are something to deal with the property so starts with c c means cellular level organization the first one is porifera with cellular level organization then t is the tissue level organization so after porifera every single phylum is of tissue and organ or organ system level organization now it go with r means radial symmetry who stands for the radial symmetry c and t the first two stand for radial symmetry that is tinophora and nidaria both of them shares the radial symmetry then we go with b b for behavior b b means bilateral symmetry rest of the others are bilateral symmetrical body now in the bilateral symmetry now we have with or without so whenever we say with or without we are talking about body cavity or coelom so with coelom or without coelom or you know pseudo coelom things like that so again with or without coelom so with uh, body cavity you know if you, if you talk about without body cavity example we know that it is platyhelminths right and uh, without like with pseudo coelom or false body cavity will be ask helminths or nimat helminths and rest of the others will have uh, the coelom fully formed and then finally you have c that is you know coelomets that means rest of the others are coelomets because they have a coelom fully formed so from this m that is from mollusks annelids arthropods echinoderms uh, hemichordate eudocordate all of them have coelom fully formed and nematelmins only pseudocelom platyhelminths no coelom at all so 
this second sentence kind of uh, help you to remember all the properties that are involved because you know if you know there are few of these properties of body symmetry or cavity you can answer few of the questions so again uh, needless to things like Prince Charles and the third plays needless music and always eats hot cucumbers check the royal behavior with or without common sense explains the animal kingdom classification till phylum as well as gives you the idea of levels of organization body symmetry body cavity and many more so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video as much as you can and definitely subscribe because that is what we need thank you very much